Okay, so let's start making Pokemon Essentials version 20 God Mode. So let's just open the game that you have that is version 20 inside RPG Maker XP. So the first thing is going to be copying the Nirvana map from already made version 20 Essentials God Mode. So just open the game here, go to the bottom, copy the Nirvana map, go to the game you're hacking, paste it inside that. And once that is done, you need to double click this box, click on this variable and change the maximum to whatever the value is plus four. So since it's 100, I'm going to change it to 104. So I'm just going to select the first new variable that I created, which is 101 in my case. I'm going to click on apply, click on OK and the same here. Then I'm going to open the scripts copier inside the GM toolkit. So I'm just going to click on open in terminal, minimize the folder and go to here and start the scripts copier using Python script copy. And this is version 19 and above. So this is going to be yes. And after that, I'm going to add the variable, which is 101 in my case, which is the first variable that I added. Next up is the map ID, which you can see is 22 here then the coordinates are 14 and 23 and after that we can start copying the scripts okay so first of all we are going to create the god mode plugins so i'm going to select the first option press enter go to the folder of the game that you're hacking go to the plugins folder just click here on the address bar copy this and go back to the scripts paste it here and press enter after that it will create the scripts Let's just go back to the main folder and oh my bad. Uh, let's go to the scripts copier. Next up is going to be the catch trainer Pokemon. So let's just select that, press enter, go back to the scripts. And here we need to control shift F for is underscore snag underscore ball. Start the search and here we can see the battle catch and store mix in 141. So we need to go to that line. And here what we need to do is go back, uh, go above this line press enter, paste what's copied and select these five lines and press tab. After that, you need to add another end here. And after that, just click on apply, go to the scripts copier, go to the third option since the second one is done. So let's just select that. We need to change this function. So what we need to do is just press control shift F, search for def pb, choose move list search that and in the editor utilities you need to go to the first one click on jump select all this paste it here apply next up is the choose pokemon modification so type 4 press enter go back here Control shift f or you know what you can just do Control f because it is in the same file so pb choose species list after that just select all of this paste it here click on apply go back here so this is done next up is going to be the fifth one and we need to go to the debug menu commands and inside that we need to go to add item so here we'll just go to the bottom in menu commands you need to search for add underscore item find next and here we have the thing so just select all of this press ctrl v this will replace all of that click on apply go back select the sixth option now and this one we need to add to the top of the list so just go to the top of the script here press enter two times paste what's copied here apply next up is going to be the seventh one so just type seven press enter go back here and now we need to go to ui pause menu and inside that we need to just look for the debug option so i think that should be at the bottom okay so here it is now you need to make sure of the order here so uh just first of all just go to the last line of the debug press enter twice and just paste what's copied and see that the order is matching um the menu so for example the debug is 80 we have 90 here and we have 100 here but then we have 90 again so we need to change this one so let's just change this to 110 and this is in the uh, progression of 10 so you need to make sure that these are uh, these all of these have differences of 10 so since this was 100 i changed this to 110 let's just click on apply click on ok and save 
and that should be all of the scripts now what you need to do in order to make this run uh, first of all i'll just exit the script here i'll just minimize this and at the first time uh, you need to enable debug so what you need to do is go to the scripts go to settings here at the top and here you need to add dollar debug is equals to true after that click on apply click on ok save and open the game once we are doing this because the plugins are not yet uh, added to the game so in order to do that we need to make sure that the debug is enabled before we open the game you need to do that only once once the plugin is installed then you don't need to do that so just double click on the game and once the game opens up uh, the the plugin should be enabled so i'll just try to use the alt so you can see the plugin is working now i'll exit the game for now because i need to make sure that i disable the debug so just remove this line again and click on apply okay and save at this point the god mode is ready but first of all you need to go to the game and inside the game what you need to do is extract the scripts so i'll press alt to enable the god speed and inside that first of all i will enable the debug mode and then i'll open the menu and go to the debug menu and inside that the god mode menu and first of all i will be generating the serialized data uh, there is no message about this so this will complete but you will not know the only way to know currently is data and inside the data you will have this particular file if this exists then it worked and i will be adding a new message here so you will know uh, when this is done so don't worry next up we are going to generate the ids so id files is generated we can now go back and the uh, preparation is done so next up what we'll try is going to the nirvana map so let's just go here yes i do not need any information i'll just go back again and i'll just save it once so that i do not have to see that again okay so that's done let's try to use the add items or add pokemon in the debug menu so let's just go to the debug menu and inside that we are going to go to the item options add item and you can see this is working so i'll just add some random item here just to check whether or not this is working so let's just go back go to the bag and we have sweet apple okay so this is working let's just try to use the pokemon as well so add pokemon and let's just add any pokemon and we have the sparrow so um okay it's taking some time okay oh no okay yeah so let's just go to the menu again and go to pokemon and we can see we have spearow now okay so that's also tested we can also test uh if the pokemon menu is working so let's just go to debug and in the moves let's teach a move let's say we want to i'm just selecting it at random so i don't want okay so that dragon rush i'm pretty sure spearow cannot learn dragon rush so i'll just remove leer one two three and tada okay and let's see so our spearow now knows dragon rush okay so that works as well now i'm going to be explaining you the scripts so if you do not want to know what the scripts are doing you can skip right ahead but let's get to the scripts now so the first thing i'm going to be explaining the uh, is the plugins so let's just go to the plugins and open it open it inside the vs codium because vs codium just looks good I, and i do not want to burn my eyes using notepad and i am still on windows 10 okay so let's just go to input now pokemon essentials since version 19 is using a different type of input which is why we do not have option to add manually uh, any key which is why we do not have f10 or f11 so uh, what i did was basically i added uh, a new input so that i can basically add these keys so we have f8 f7 alt and f6 so these are pretty much exactly the same as before i think you already know what these do so i'm going to skip over the things uh, that you might already know if you don't know you need to see the earlier tutorials 
uh, let's just go to the god mode scripts again there are a lot of things that you already know here so i'm just going to skip the things uh for example all of these three are pretty much the same as before but the, the only difference is going to be the max num in each of them so the max num here is going to be game data uh, double colon species dot count uh, which is a function that's uh, basically added to version 20 which we uh, added back to version 19 in the uh, tutorial before and that's the same for basically the items and the moves here the rest of the code is pretty much the exact same as before except for this so we are returning uh, nil if the basically the id does not so basically if we do not select any item then it will return nil otherwise it will return the value next up is the pb teleport and teleport back these are exactly the same as before so i'm not going to explain them the default rate and pb god speed and toggle debug uh, plus the instant party heal are all the same as before so i'm not going to explain them select style is also same and toggle select style is also the same add storage box is the same get all pokemon level has uh this basically we have this thing different which is the uh way of getting the max level in the game in version 19 and 20 so this is different uh and and uh, next up is going to be the get all pokemon so this is also different so we are using the game data species dot get function to get the pokemon but this time we have a little something different which is pb get name from id this is a function that i created so we uh, we need to do that because of the fact that when we extract the names of the pokemons these are not the same names in the game so game uses a different name than the one then it than it sh that it shows to the user so this function is basically there for getting the actual name that the game uses and in order to do that i am saving all of the actual names inside a file which is done by the serialized data script so this particular function is responsible for getting all of the real names of species items and moves from the game and then saving them inside the gmids.dat you will never be opening this file so you do not need to worry about what the contents of this are but in short i am just getting the names of these and just storing them inside lists after that what i am doing is basically uh this is this is the function that gets them back so the type basically is zero one or two zero is for species one is for items and two is for moves so uh these basically this uh, this particular function is saving an array of arrays uh, inside this file and then I'm using this function to get the particular value that I want and this function is being used inside the scripts here as you saw before so this is giving the id and this is asking for species next up is going to be the pb extract script so this is pretty much doing the exact same thing as before but the difference is that we are using a, sim uh, a different method of saving all of the IDs and their names. So I just created a new function that basically gets the all of the names of the species items or moves uh, from the game object. So the object uh, are these three things. So the species items moves abilities. Uh, I haven't added any way to change the ability of a Pokemon. So this is um, useless for now. So basically we give this object to the function this function give this objects to this and what this does is basically gets all of the items inside that object and gives it back to this function which basically uh, adds an id to the um, basically the name and then adds it to the file that we gave it so this is doing the same thing for all these four things so this is getting all of the species names, item names, moves and ability names and adding to those particular files. The make trigger is exactly the same as before so I'm not going to explain that. Next up is the Nirvana map. So Nirvana map basically contains, oh I mean the Nirvana scripts, basically contains all of the scripts that are being used inside the Nirvana map. So this time what I have done is basically remove all of the events, uh, so the commands from the events and basically made them a function and added it to the Nirvana scripts. So I think I do not need to explain whatever is going on here because this is exactly the same as before. So the, the only differences in this would be basically the name of these functions. So like 
this is not the same way that we are getting the name of the item so this is basically the only difference between the old nirvana and new nirvana functions so you can go through these and learn how they are working but pretty much these are exactly the same as before so these are the scripts inside the module that we added i mean the plugin that we added let's go to the scripts inside the game so whatever things did we change so we first uh, i've already explained the plugin so let's just get to the cash trainer pokemon this is exactly working the same as before but i'll just show it again once so let's just go to is snag ball and here we had this one okay so what we're doing here again is basically checking whether or not the control button is already pressed if it is then we are going to skip all of this otherwise we are going to check this that's all that we are doing here next next is going to be the choose mod move modification and choose pokemon modification these two functions are basically exactly uh, working the same way as they were working in the older versions uh, i basically check whether or not the toggle is on and if it is then we are using the new id style otherwise we are not using that so i'll just show you one of them so you will get the idea of that so def baby choose move list yeah okay so let's just jump to that and here as you can already see we are getting the name from id if the new select style is chosen otherwise we are using the list okay so let's just go back here i've already explained these two so let's just go to the add items modification actually i do not need to go through this because this is again the same thing but uh let's just go to it and i'll just give you a very short explanation of that so add underscore item which was already selected i do not know why i removed that okay so this uh, i basically removed all of the code from here so that we can use the list style of our own instead of using the list style that the game has and then i basically added whether or not the new style is selected or not so this is pretty much exactly the same as before uh but the only difference is going to be again um i think yeah th there's not a lot of difference here so the only difference will be how these menu handlers are working and i've already explained them before in the last version 19 explanation so i'm not going to go through them again so let's go to the next one so good god mode scripts again i already have shown you how these menus are working but what these are doing is basically the toggle select style extract pbs and data file extraction commands other than that let's uh, i think yeah that's explanation of all the scripts that's version 20 of essentials if you want to learn about anything else that i forgot to explain then you can just let me know i will either add a new video or maybe add it in the description and uh, if you have any queries or if you get any errors that you want to you want help with uh, then you can join my discord server and ask them directly to me or any other people that uh, make these god modes and we will be able to help you but before you do that you need to make sure that your account must not be created within the last 24 hours because otherwise my server will automatically ban you and you will have to create a new account again that's pretty much all of the things that i wanted to share in this video